Hey, David, good morning. That's right. KKR elevating its two co-presidents to the role of co-CEOs, passing the torch from its billionaire founders for the first time in the firm's 45-year history. Henry Kravis and George Roberts have been the face of KKR alongside their third co-founder, Jerry Kohlberg, who died six years ago. The two will move up to executive co-chairman, while Scott Nuttall and Joe Bay will the new leaders are in their 40s, while the billionaire founders are in their 70s. So this topic of succession has been prominent within the private equity industry recently, with Apollo and Carlyle making similar moves over the past few years. Concurrent with the management transition, KKR also announced a series of corporate governance changes by December 31st, 2026. So in a little over five years from now, the firm plans to eliminate its preferred stock, moving to a one-share one vote structure across the shareholder base. The reorganization also improves the rights of common stock shareholders, allowing them to vote on matters like directors, whereas they weren't able to do those types of things before. The elimination of shares with special voting rights follows similar moves by Apollo and Carlyle over the past two years. It could be beneficial for public market investors in these companies because it would allow for broader index inclusion. So helpful to some of the passive investing that we've been seeing. KKR shares higher today, pushing its gains for the year to over 64%. Guys.